Okay, first things first, before we move on to the on-page SEO, we want to make sure that the blog is set up properly. All right, and the first thing you want to do is log into the blog that you just set up. And we're going to go and change some things around. Uh, the first thing you want to do is go into the blog and go to your settings for your... And this would be under permalinks. We want to change the, the way that the blog displays the linking structure, uh, the, the actual tree for your site. You want to come down here to custom structure like you see and you want to make it forward slash post name uh, percent sign post name percent sign. So what this is going to do is going to tell your blog that if your blog like you see here this this is just a sample blog userreview.org it would be userreview.org and if we were talking about apples it would say if the post was about apples in New York it would say post name um, I'm sorry, I would say userreview.org forward slash apples in New York. All right, the post, the actual name of the post would be reflected in the URL. And that's what you want to do. So you just go here, permalinks, forward slash, percent sign, post name, percent sign. Another quick trick that you want to keep in mind is uh, when you're making a post to this blog, try to start each post off with the title, uh, the title with the keyword that you're, you're trying to rank for. All right, so if you're trying to rank for lose belly fat, fast you want to have the blogs uh the post title be lose belly fat fast and then you can put a hyphen or a space and say my three step method explained or uh my step by step method explained you know if you start the post with the keyword it's going to help with the rankings tremendously as well now we're going to need the uh SEO plugin and you can use uh your SEO plugin of choice we're just going to, I'm just going to show you where to go to get that uh you click here on plugins you want to add a new plugin and we'll go here to uh, search plugins. We're just going to put in SEO. Uh, you can you can search for Platinum SEO if you like, but just SEO. It's not going to matter too much which one you use as long as it does the job as far as um, ranking the post and this overall site. And you'll see there's a lot of them. We just happen to use Platinum SEO, so we're going to click Install now. Yes, we're sure we want to install that. There you go. So then it'll be installed. Now I'm not going to activate it right away because I, I just wanted to show you uh, for that. Let's see here. Then when you go into the actual settings, the settings for the uh, Platinum SEO will be here on the left hand side. You just drop that down. All right. And you can take a look at it now. This will give you the ability to change the home title of your blog. You want the home title, you want to put the name first inside the home title just like you did, like you would do for the post. So if it's Lose Belly Fat Fast or Lose Belly Fat, we would just say Lose Belly Fat. And then it could say the three step system to reducing fat around the ab around the, the the abs something like that okay and uh in the description you want to include the uh the main keyword phrase and uh, you want to put it in there two times okay so you want to have it uh you would like to ideally have it twice in the headline as well so the three step system to lose belly fat let's just say Lose belly fat. Quickly. So now you've found a way to squeeze the keyword in twice there. You would put a description in here, which is pretty much the same thing, just a little longer. Make sure you include the keyword twice. And then for the keywords, you would have in here, uh, lose belly fat, along with um you know a, a few variations of the same keyword like lose belly fat with no space in between the the b i mean the y and the f and there you go so th those settings are you would just click update and those settings are complete all right once you have that set up on the blog and you can go ahead and proceed with the on page seo uh remembering that this is what we're going to do to optimize the post for the high ranking so uh, first things first, you want to make sure that you optimize the domain name like we just talked about. All right. So if you make sure the keyword is in the domain name and if you had to come in here and put a V at the end, uh, that you did that. 
that's your first uh, order of business next you want to make sure that the keyword is in the home title tag okay this is the title tag um, and you want to make sure that it's in there which you've done with the SEO uh, tool uh, that, that the, you, you want to make sure that the keyword is in there and if you can do it which two times you know it's inserted twice uh, that's really going to work out better so try to have one instance of your keyword towards the beginning of the title tag and another instance towards the middle or the end. Next you want to have your keyword and your main keyword in the H1, H2, and H3 tags. Okay, The H1 tag uh, is the most important and this is a tag that's going to create sort of a bold uh, header look for your keyword. You just want to go through your post and maybe you start your post off with a title or a, uh, you know, a, a brief introduction and you want to make sure that you have you want to select it and make it an H1 tag um, so if you're typing in your post and say this is is the title of my post you would just highlight this go to paragraph here and say H1 heading 1 now that's H1 tag so when you view the HTML you'll see H1 and they put this in between the two tags alright you're gonna do the same thing for all the uh, the tags so you'll do that for H1, H2 and an H3 next you wanna make sure that the keyword is at the start near the start of each paragraph okay uh, each paragraph and uh, near the beginning of, of the first sentence in each paragraph so if you say uh, your keyword is reduce tummy fat you would say or if it was uh, what was it? Lose belly fat. You could say something like, and you want to make sure the keyword is the same way. So if you if it's lose belly fat, you don't want to say losing belly fat because you're changing the keyword. You want to say to lose belly fat in two days may seem impossible. But in this article, I'm going to show you how it's easily done if you do these few key things. So now you've started the paragraph by putting the keyword in there right at the beginning, just like you see here. You also want the keyword in the last sentence of each paragraph. So just the same way that you incorporated the keyword in there, you want to put the keyword in the last sentence of that same paragraph. All right. This is going to increase the relevancy of the page and in, 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 uh, for that particular keyword. You're not keyword spamming. You're not throwing a keyword everywhere, but you're putting it in the key places that Google looks. Okay. You're putting it in the key places that's going to say, hey, this is what this content is about, and this is why this is the most important content in your index. Uh, in regards to this whatever that keyword is and this is why you're going to get the rankings that you will this combined with some very very cool off off page optimization that we're going to get to in the next segment now your overall keyword density uh, is going to be at least three percent okay and this is this means the keyword should appear in your post uh, three percent of the entire post and some of those tools that are in the resource section will automatically calculate this for you all you'll need to do is just simply enter your keyword in the post uh, in the box and next to the post it's going to give you a little percent score it's going to say your keyword density right now is one percent so you need to, you, that will tell you you need to go back and insert that keyword in a few more times to get it up to three percent once you get it up to three percent you're good All right. this is very very specific and you have to do this this way for this uh... the entire process uh, to to be maximized internal keywords and links okay you want to link to other pages within your site an internal page in the site and you want to do that one time with your keyword as a link alright and you'll do that using this href code here alright so it's, it's going to be uh, you know alligator sign a href and then uh, HTTP you put your, your your domain in there and then right here you put in your keyword uh, that you want to be linked so your page could have a paragraph of text and then you'll have a link that said lose belly fat and it will be linked to another page in your site you want an external link to an authority site all right uh, and you'll see here we have a link to CNN and it's, it's from your keyword to an authority site the logic behind this is that Google's looking uh, for to provide the best user experience possible okay without the users they don't have anything so if they see that your site has good page juice flowing to it and it has decent links coming in and it's optimized perfectly and that you're also linking to an authority site which is saying I'm a bridge to more great content I am a conduit of, of good content okay 
Google takes that into consideration. It would be the same way as if you had a lot of links going out to Viagra sites or porn sites. Google would say, well, we know what kind of user experience this site is giving its users, and we're going to rank it much lower or better yet, delete it out of our uh, rankings. So you want to make sure you have an external link to an authority site. You also want to use image alt tags tabs, okay? Using your main keyword in uh, as your your image tag, so that if the alt tab is, is if someone can't view the image, obviously it's going to say, uh, you know, it's going to give you wh whatever you type in here. So you see, it says your alt is your domain. So you'll put in your domain and uh, and then your keyword because your domain has your keyword in it. Make sure you name your images your keyword as well. So if you have a picture of a stomach and it's called T1, you want to change the name of that image to something like, uh, or B1, you can change it to, to reduce belly 1, reduce belly fat 1, like that. So that now the, that, that's one more place that you've optimized for the keyword. Okay, next you want to make sure that you in the post that you bold, underline, or italicize your main keyword at least once. And that's self-explanatory. Google's going to see that your keyword is bolded on the page, so it may that adds one more check mark to their to their what they're looking for as far as ranking and placement and index of the site, saying that it's related to your your particular keyword. So make sure you it's, it's at least bold, underline or italicize once within the post. Try to make your post at least 900 words in length. Okay, sometimes you may have shorter articles, but to really spread out the keyword density so that it's not uh, you know appearing keyword spamish you want to you really want to have some decent size um, posts there and we've seen that uh, if you have a post from 900 preferably a thousand words in length uh, that's tightly written around your keywords that the rankings will shoot up much much faster and you'll have a more of a solid base to build around okay so if you do those things you've effectively built a foundation that you you've pretty much fully optimized each of your posts and and you know or web pages and it may be you know kind of tricky at first especially if you've never worked with HTML but it's it's really simple uh and once you get the hang of it uh it's easily repeat and do over and over again and more importantly if you use some of the tools uh that we provide you in the resource section they will tell you exactly what to do and where to do it within the post uh, making it very very easy to do and then you can go and outsource that as well and have your outsourcers working on that while you focus on finding more keywords and more opportunities to rank in the next section we're going to go over the off-page SEO and this is the strategic linking this is the linking that will give you ranking domination okay now you've already completely gone over what you need to do on your site and on the pages and on within the within the actual uh, content that you have now this is stuff that takes place off of your site okay and this is the this is the uh, this is what makes it all happen okay and this is where we're going to go and get links in to your site that allow your site not only to rank but to rank and last a long time no matter what your comp competition does uh, and, and have you solidified at a position uh, receiving traffic free traffic on an ongoing basis day in and day out so uh, with that said let's move on to the next section off-page SEO and uh, and start our backlinking and uh, getting our sites ranked.